So you see a typical countdown like this in OBS that we're going to be counting down to the new year, which is going to be on a Saturday, January 1st. I'm going to be showing you how to set this up in your own OBS in the next couple of minutes. Stay with me. My name is Stuart Godwin Johnson, and I'm about to show you how to make a new year countdown for 2022. It's going to be a fast one, and let's get this going. First, our OBS project here is set up to use a 720p resolution. That's I'm talking about 1280 by 720, and the output scale to 1280 by 720p. So this will be the resolution we'll be using for this video, and let's get going. I'm using OBS version 27.1.3. Then you can use things like undo in case you make mistakes or you make errors in OBS. Now supports undo and redo. An amazing new future we've been wishing and longing to have for a long time in OBS. The next program you would need to have is the program SNAZ. You probably have to go to this URL in GitHub and check on the releases and download SNAS. The most recent version as of the time of this video is still what was made in 2028, 1.12.7.0, works pretty well. Download that, download that and install. I have already installed that. That's the program. I've already installed SNAS and when you open it, this is what it looks like. SNAS. It's a simple interface and we'll be using just the first tab there are all the tabs you can use for all the amazing things but i'll be using just the first tab of this software called snaz okay and again we'll need to have i just brought in a video background you know that we'll use for a background this video i picked up from pixabay and pixabay and the credit uh, is a nasa imagery so the credits for this video goes to the original owner, copyright owner, if I can find that anywhere here. Well, it should show when you uh, click download or something. But this is where I got the video I'm using as my background video from. You can also get your own video from Pixabay or Onsplash or any of the websites or use any still background of your choice. Okay, let's get down to the tutorial itself. The first thing we will do here is to set up SNAS. Uh, let me quickly run you through the settings here. This is a format for your this is the format for your time display. And this time display you have a preview of what it looks like once you are live. Everything in SNAS is that it does it creates a, a text file and the text file is saved in this NAS directory I have that directory opened already which is here you find all the text files for time for date for countdown and for the other items in SNAS so you have a text file here and this text files that the files will be using so for each section here there are three sections time date and countdown you have text files for each of those sections. The PC time is what it's using. So ensure that you have your PC time correctly set up. If your time is wrong, then your countdown clock is definitely going to be wrong. So sync that up automatically and have your PC time set up correctly. Now you can change these formats. There are a couple of formats. If you look at the example, when you mouse over it, you could change the format to what you want. We're not gonna modify the format here. In case you've made changes to this format and you want to restore it to the default, there's a button beside the field. Click that and you should get the default uh, time format restored there. In here, I have actually picked uh, AM and PM. So you could choose to use 24 hour timing or 12 hour time uh, format. So I actually use the 12 hour time format. And so I've actually selected, I've selected AM and PM right there. I don't need the leading zero, so I kind of take the zero out from the time because I don't think I'll need that. So there are many options you can play around with here. As for the date, I left the date where it is, but you could also uh, modify the dates 
you know to be what you you know what you want you know so yeah you could do today this is how it comes it shows you today but i don't need this word today so what i did was i got rid of the word today and i have just the date and this gives us the preview as for the countdown it starts with day hour minutes and uh, the output time if we set this to an earlier time let's set this let's set this to 10 minutes past seven as the counting down we're counting down to this very moment but 10 minutes past seven let's click start once we do we see a live preview of the of how many minutes we have left right there and if you come to the countdown section you will see changes happening here that the file is getting updated every second this text is what we want to display after the countdown is complete so i have actually changed that to happy new year you could use any text that you want you could choose to remove the zeros and also remove time spans that are not needed for example if i was to take out this day now i have hour minutes and seconds but since i'm taking this off there's no points i can click that to restore the default play around with this and see exactly what you know if it can give you what you want it's a simple interface there is not too much to it but it's easy to use this button starts the program you wouldn't want this running eternally on your system you start it when you need to use it and you stop it when you don't want to use it so we start it up and then we stop right so let's set this to be at uh, 8 p.m right and just zero these out so at this point if you look at it i'm doing this video it by this period by at this time in the evening by 7 p.m and i'm intending to just post it out for those of you who want to try this out it's quick it's easy so this is the live preview of what we've got so happy new year that now let's get back to obs and we're going to make use of all of this first thing first let's bring in our background into obs this background which will be the image here so let's slide this out and we're using the first scene here let's bring the background in pretty simple we're going to double click on this to loop it so that it could loop and lock it so we don't get to modify it accidentally so now our background is looping in that let's first let's include the time we will use a, G, a text input here text input we'll call this time and then uh, I will leave the font but as Arial for now I'll leave it as Arial for now and we will go back to SNAS and we want to pick time first this is time this is the link you can copy the link to clipboard right here go back choose read from file browse just paste that link over here or if you have gone to the folder where the files are saved is actually is by default will be drive c snars and text files right but if you don't you can look at snars and follow the directory right there you see the files right there all right cool so let's go back to obs and open that and boom we have our time format there it's pretty large as you can see i have a very large uh, set of fonts set here so i'm going to make this one okay and then uh, you could you could choose to resize it manually you know to resize it manually or just choose a font size that best fits what you want you could bring this down manually we don't need this to be very bold let's say it's just the current time just the current time all right let's repeat the process again for the date and we're going to place the date over 
on this side of the screen on the right side of the screen so let's include a text there and let's call that date and it opens up let's go back to snaz and let's copy date to clipboard go back to obs read from file browse paste this open up and then for this we we'll probably want it to be much smaller so i'm going to use 80 for this one and that we're going to actually make this even smaller and in addition to that we'll make this to be you'll set this as a right align text so right align and um, having said that as a right align i think i'll go even smaller on this one let me go half the size of that and this is okay all right so we've got two texts in there all coming from snaz and you can see that the time is updating real time we have this also updating uh, real time now i could show you how to maybe make this up in the browser using javascript but i think this is pretty uh, is straightforward so let's add the countdown itself now so countdown let's do countdown okay read from file let's go to snaz and copy the countdown text countdown link rather and we will include that open it up so we have a countdown text right there I will use the I will try to make this end so that I can see the final long text which is going to be longer than this countdown text I will come back to use that to modify this before we return to the countdown text but for that for now let me select bold in the text format and hit OK and I'll bring this somewhere I want this to fill the entire screen I'll show you how to set that up in a jiffy if not we're going to be having our text jumping uh, when when everything changes uh, let me go over here and set this to be the current time when I do that it returns to it stops because there's no time to count down to anymore which is pretty cool but you can see what happens to the text so when that time comes your text is going to be off the screen and this is not what you want so it's good to start from here so let's start with this and make our configuration uh, correct so back to the countdown double click I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and choose custom text accent so 7 1280 and the height is 720 uh, pixel remember this is the height of our image our video and then we are using a, a width of 1280 we did that when we we're setting things up I want this to be center and I want it to also be centered now we have centered the text we will scale down a little bit because this is going to flush to the entire screen which we wouldn't want so let's do this let's this was actually off here to quickly get it to the center if you right click on this you could see transform and at the bottom you would see center to screen which the short code is control d is off the screen right now so i'm going to just use control plus d center to screen now this is what the final happy new year will look like it's a bit bulky so i would think of uh, scaling it down a little bit and then doing that control d again now yeah this there's a space here right there's a space is still here it doesn't get trimmed off uh, when everything wraps like this if i want to make up for that i can add a space before this and a space after this you know if, if that helps that's not a big problem because it's just a slight thing so i can just move this a little bit to the right so everything is complete for us here now so let's test the countdown by using a time that is quite close let's use uh, 16 seconds and start so you see that now we are counting down in seconds let's put it this way we're counting down in seconds and our countdown is working as expected i can as well we can as well move this 
up a little I'm just using space right here to move this to the right I think that should be fair enough uh, you can also we can also test the countdown in in minutes in say in hours let's do 08 so you see we have countdown in hours that so to actually when it reaches the countdown time we have happy new year show so let's actually now set it for the new year how do we do that we actually set this as the first of January 2022 okay that that and a.m. so 12 a.m. 12 a.m. January 1st 2022 we will be getting this time so let's count that down that shows me four hours 48 minutes so let's check if that's correct um, yes this is going to be exact time for hours 48 minutes yes correct so let's leave snaz and our countdown is in session so i believe that you can set up a happy new year countdown as quickly as you possibly can so that's it i'm still with godwin johnson and i want you to enjoy the new year remember what i said this coming year is a blessed year 2022 is a blessed year so make the most out of it and enjoy god be with you